This is an introductory video on Climate Change 101 and taking action. Firstly, what is the difference between weather and climate? Let's clear up the confusion. Weather is like your mood. It can change quickly. Climate, on the other hand, is like your personality. It's the long-term pattern. But something is worrying. Over the past century, scientists have observed rising average global temperatures over a long period of time due to human industrial activity. This is what we call global warming. Global warming is a major contributor to something even more significant, climate change, which includes shifts in rainfall patterns, more extreme weather events, stronger and more frequent storms, and rising sea levels due to rapidly rising global temperatures. But how did we get here? The Industrial Revolution brought technological advancements to the global north, which was characterized by an era of burning fossil fuels, particularly coal. Fossil fuels are formed over millions of years from decaying organic materials like plants and animals. After being exposed to heat and pressure, crude oil, coal or natural gas is formed. Burning fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases which act like a blanket around the earth, trapping the sun's rays and causing the temperature to rise and climate change. We call this the greenhouse effect. These emissions are causing big problems. Rising sea levels threaten coastal communities, extreme weather events destroy homes and livelihoods, and ecosystems struggle to adapt. But there's still hope. We can make a difference. We can take action at the community, local government, and even national and international policy levels. While the blame is not on you and me as ordinary people, but rather on big emitting industries that put profits above people, we are not powerless. We can use individual and collective power at various scales to make systematic change. In addition to our individual actions, we must call for system change. There are a number of institutions we can pressure to make changes by writing letters, participating in policy conversations, and amplifying local solutions. You can also engage with the United Nations, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, your national government, and other decision makers. These are some terms used in the global policy space. Mitigation. It involves reducing emissions of greenhouse gases that are causing climate change. Adaptation. It focuses on adjusting to the impacts of climate change that are already happening or expected to occur. Loss and damage financing is about making provision for the loss of lives and damage to infrastructure when adaptation and mitigation fail to reduce vulnerability. Anyone can be part of the solution. We can be the champions for change in our communities. We can plant trees, share knowledge on solutions, and support those most affected by climate change to build their resilience. Climate change is a justice issue, and climate action must be guided by these two concepts. Climate justice, which emphasizes the fair treatment of all people in relation to climate change policies and impacts, especially those who are most vulnerable and have contributed least to the crisis. And just transition, which refers to the shift from a high carbon to a low carbon economy towards a sustainable future. This shift must ensure no worker or community is left behind. Unfortunately, emissions are still rising and the time to act is now at every level and every scale. The consequences of climate change disproportionately affect vulnerable communities, leading to increased poverty, hunger and displacement. We are responsible for acting for a more just and sustainable future and building the Africa we want. 
Another way you can take action is by sharing your stories. This is a powerful tool to humanize and make the climate crisis relatable to people. We can inspire action and build a movement for change by letting others know how climate change affects us. Storytelling is also a great way to share examples of local solutions already happening on the ground and is a method of knowledge sharing that goes back centuries, especially in Africa, where indigenous knowledge is passed down through stories. These are just some of the things you can do to secure a just and sustainable future for all.